morning guys and welcome back to our prediction video for today uh well it hasn't been the week we expected but we have to move forward you know that's the most important thing um you guys you have a lot of trust in this channel and you know we never stay losing for long right and when we start stringing together those re winning runs it's going to continue for a long time and i think we've sat down as a team and we understand what the issues are and we hope to correct it today and going forward so four matches that give total out of 2.549 odds and i'm going to take you guys through each of these four games and we can only pray and hope for the very best at the end of the day they are well analyzed and you guys will see it for yourself as well the first fixture is from the europe champions league it's the return fixture of the game involving barcelona and psg um, barcelona's form at home has been nothing short of excellent 10 games and they've only lost twice at home and one of those losses was actually a shocking defeat to Villarreal at the start of the year and i would attribute that to you know you know how some um, players are often on serious at the start of the year and then this the second loss was a club friendly to club america i don't think they played their full squad in that match so two losses in 10 games you expand again and the other time they lost again was to girona at home that was in december so in 20 games at home they have lost four times and two of those losses came against teams that are top two girona was top two at the time real madrid is currently top one on the table and psg undoubtedly has been very very excellent away from home but the thing is when you you can't really compare the quality of the teams psg has played in the french league right there's a reason why sometimes you find people calling the french league farmers league and all that because the teams in the french league are very weak very very weak you can't really compare them with the sort of opposition barcelona is playing away from home every time in la liga and to underscore that fact barcelona did go to psg's home in the first leg and beat them three goals to two and to be honest barca has the stars they have the quality they also have the right determination to do very well in this competition and then you have a psg team that has an embattled uh, mbappe mbappe is leaving and he used to be the uh, anchor man the one who used to push so hard for them but now he's leaving and at the moment they're in absolute totters so what i'm trying to say is this is barcelona's game to lose right barcelona has everything perfectly put in place for them to beat psg again to beat them at home and to be honest the head-to-head -head in a large way favors barcelona Barca has won this fixture. They've only lost once to PSG, you know, at some just once in five meetings. So what we are doing is, I think we are fully, fully convinced, you know, in view of previous head-to-head, -head, the way Barca played in the first leg, and Barcelona's current form, there is reason to believe that Barcelona will win this game in 90 minutes. So we are double chancing Barca to win or draw this fixture in 90 minutes. And the odd for Barcelona to win or draw this fixture in 90 minutes is priced at 1.39. The next fixture is from the England League One. It's a game involving Bolton and Shrewsbury. So when you look at Bolton, they're averaging 2.5 goals at home, right? 2.5 goals at home. Um, Shrewsbury is also averaging 1.5, actually two goals. They're averaging a minimum of two goals away from home. And head-to-head -head shows that this fixture, four out of five times, has produced 1.5 goals. It's also important we check the uh, standings. And when you do, you see that both in this position three, they want to get into the top two so they can get into the automatic promotion places into the next round. In, 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 into the next um, competition, you know, championship. So this is a game they need to win. 
convincingly. And then you have the away team that is trying to survive relegation. So two teams with two different motivations should make for an interesting game. So this game is perfectly poised to produce 1.5 goals. As you can see, the head-to-head uh, -head suggests that it's a game that will produce 1.5 goals. The away team will also produce 1.5 goals. So we are going for over 1.5 goals at odds of 1.25. Shooting stars and lobby, an interesting fixture from the Nigerian league. And first and foremost, you guys have to realize that in the Nigerian um, Premier League, home teams always have the advantage, especially strong home teams. They always have, have the advantage. You know, it's very difficult for a home team to lose at home unless they are playing against a team that is much, much stronger. And especially if the home team isn't very good. So we have the case of um, shooting stars. Five matches played, five wins. In 10 games, they've only lost once. And they lost to Aimba. And when you check the uh, table, you see that Aimba is a team that is in the top four. So it's understandable why they lost that game. And Aimba has a very good away form. Lobby stars away from home. It's interesting that they haven't won a single game away from home in their last five meetings. Not even a single victory away from home. Head to head suggests that this is a fixture that has seen Lobby Stars win four out of five times. So this is going to be another victory for Shooting Stars. They have the right motivation. They're in good form and they shouldn't find it difficult winning this game in 90 minutes. So we are going for over 1.5 go sorry we are going for look um we are going for shooting stars to win or draw in 90 minutes so shooting stars to win or draw in 90 minutes at odds of 1.17 the final we have is also from the nigerian um, premier league it's a game involving by elsa united and katsina when you look at um, this by elsa united right um, five matches played and they've only lost once at home, right? Look at Casina. Casina hasn't won a single game in their last five matches. When you expand Bielsa United to 10 games, and it's been two losses uh, in 10 matches, which is pretty good. You have to also look at and consider the quality of teams they lost to. They lost to him by a team that is in the top four, you know. So the point I'm trying to make is we need to also look at their standings to understand what their motivation will be. So you have this Katsina that is position seven, and you have Bayosa, a team that is fighting to survive relegation. So this is going to be a very, very interesting game. And as I told you guys, in the Nigerian Premier League, home teams always have the advantage. Home teams always have the advantage. So this is a game you can expect Bayosa United to win or draw in 90 minutes. And it also helps that we check their head to head. Okay, they don't have their head to head here. So we, in view of their current home form, we are giving Bayosa United to win or draw in 90 minutes and the odd is 1.40. And then you have their uh, booking codes here for one expert and for uh, sports events. And I just want to wish you guys the very best with this round of matches. Thank you very much, guys, and see ya.